Meeting of North Smithfield Town Council is called to order at 6.40 p.m. First item is prayer and plate, Madam Clerk. regarding the renewable energy. Um, I've commented at length about it in the past, questioning how it's not going to be part of the tax levy and the base of your tax base. Um, and aside from that, I still have concerns that you have not even identified how much money we're talking about here. And um, you know, it, it sounds as though, as I read this policy, that it's retroactive and any, in any revenue that's currently coming in as of next June, will, July will be taken from that regular tax base um, into the set-aside fund. So we'll have a uh, automatic tax increase because you'll have to make up that shortfall of the revenue. I don't understand how this is going to work. Called a number of communities. They all said it's tangible tax revenue, part of the levy. I don't understand your comments about not being part of the base. And regarding item number 9B, green energy, um, I thought like, at the last meeting that Mr. Um, Zelensky and Mr. Bozier had to voice a request to have that vote up for reconsideration as to the committee. It's not on the agenda. I'm wondering why that's not on the agenda. Um, and I also have an issue with the way the agenda is stated because I'm not so sure it's in compliance with the Open Meetings Act. You don't have at the beginning of the uh, item discussion, vote, or other action. You have it only under E on, on that particular article at the end. So it appears to me that you're free to discuss number the item E um, to take a discussion, vote, or other action, but not on A through D. Um, there's, recent, there's, there's a recent um, decision, Ward versus the Woonsocket Planning Board, where they just they didn't list that they were going to be taking a vote on a particular item, and they took a vote. They just had it down to discussion. And the Attorney General ruled it was a violation of the Open Meetings Act. So, to me, the way this is worded, it's never been worded. It, every other item on your agenda has discussion by council vote or other action at the top, and then it lists one, two, and three, those topics that be discussed under it, except this one only has it under E. So I'd like to hear, I'd like somebody to ask the uh, solicitor his opinion to get that on the record. Thank you. Mike Davis. So 
I, I see that tonight there's an uh, executive session on potential litigation with uh, green development. Um, I, I don't know, it just, just seems a little fishy, not fishy, but just a little concerning to me that um, you guys are we're actively working on a tax stabilization agreement at the same time as active litigation against the town. I don't, I'm just confused on, I don't know if it's what to do with the moratorium and all that stuff, but it just, I don't know, it just doesn't, I just don't know why we're, we're doing so much to, to help these developers um, when there's with all these open questions still. Uh, the second thought, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was real quick. So I see the other project, the whole property is called Douglas Pike Solar. I believe there's another project on Douglas Pike that's being uh, considered. So I didn't know if we could, if you guys could, you know, somehow come up with a better name than Douglas Pike Solar. There are two projects. Um, I believe the gold property is the bigger, like 60 acre project. I think I've read it before, there's like a small three, three acre project. So I don't know from now on if we could better distinguish it. Because I read some article and I was a little confused, and then I noticed so it's the gold property, which I thought was more on that team road, but it might be wrong. So uh, that was my other thoughts. Thank you. Tony Gray? I just want to give an update on a couple of things, uh, more or less parks and rec related here in the town of Northfield. Uh, first off, I don't know if you had a chance to, to see or not, but uh, there was a dedication ceremony on Saturday for the uh, newly refurbished basketball court at Pacheco Park. It was a uh, it started off as a Eagle Scout project. Nolan Parent was a Eagle Scout. She's two, three years ago. And if you haven't seen it yet, I, I suggest you get over there and have a look because the uh, the DPW um, subcontractor at Narragansett Electric, uh, Nolan, who did a lot of the fundraising around the benches and, and uh, scorers table that are over there. And just everybody who's involved in the project and all those others that, that I, I need to find out who they all were and, and say thank you because what a tremendous job. Really fantastic um, improvement to an asset. And I'm hopeful that uh, if you can buy the courts over here on a summer night, you can see just how busy they are and how they have to schedule, schedule games around um, it's tough to get them all in. So now we have another resource, a lighted court that just looks absolutely fantastic. So um, my kudos to, uh, from Parks, on, on behalf of the Parks and Rec Commission, to the town and everybody who's involved in that. Uh, second, the uh, ceremony for the uh, dedication of Veterans Memorial Stadium and the monument has been postponed. And the reason we have to postpone it is uh, we have struggled mightily with uh, getting the monument delivered. And production is, is held up once again. So um, the good news is that the ceremony will be held on Friday evening, November 8th. So that is definite. I, I will, uh, I'm making this public for the first time right now. And I'll get the word out, and we're going to have to push it back just two weeks. But uh, that's also senior night. So we're, we're hoping a really good turnout. It'd be great to see the entire council, all the uh, town dignitaries there. We're hoping to have some speakers from uh, National Guard. It's going to be a, a, however we do a football game to play, so it'll be a rather quick ceremony. It'll be before the game actually kicks off. So we'll be at 6 o'clock on Friday night, November 8th, and at that time we'll, we'll have the dedication, dedication and unveil the uh, monument. 
So, any questions? None, but I want to say thank you for your endeavor on this. It's a great tribute to, to people of this town and long over too. I thank you for all your hard work. Well, um, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Uh, a lot of people involved, and we're not done yet. So, uh, we're getting it. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak under the open forum? Woody? Next item is executive session. Island General Law 42-46-582. Sessions pertaining to collective bargaining or litigation or work sessions pertaining to collective bargaining or litigation. One discussion by council or other action on potential litigation. A solo photovoltaic installation project redevelopment LLC, aka GDIM1 LLC, GDIM2 LLC, GDIM3 LLC, GDIM4 LLC, GDIM5 LLC, GDIM6 LLC, GDIM7 LLC, GDIM8 LLC, GDIM9 LLC, for the property located at 0 I Minor Road. B Solar Photovoltaic <coughs> Installation Project, Douglas Pike Solar, free application, Anthony J. Del Vicario and David Gold, applicant and owner, flat 10, lot 24 and 218. Solar Photovoltaic Installation Project, WED, North Area 1, LLC, applicant, Luke Pacheco, the owner, GDNS, Old Smithfield, Solar 1, flat 13, lot 26. And 2019 Evergreen Contract Continuation Law, Rhode Island General Law 28-9.3-12 and Rhode Island General Law 28-9.4-13. The motion to recess into executive session. So motion by Mrs. Lewinsky, is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. O'Hara. Roll call vote. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. O'Hara? No. Mr. Zolinski? Yes. Mr. Batman? Yes.